Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This one's going to be on how to get the old game uh, juiced running on a modern PC. So right away we're going to go ahead and jump into Word Browser. There is three links that I'm going to post. Uh, so you're going to go to each one of those. Go to the 13AG uh, Ultimate ASI Loader link. And we're going to go down here and we're going to download either the 64-bit or the 32. I suggest you do 32 because it is an older game. Uh, so go ahead and you're going to download that file, put that in your downloads folder. We are going to go to this other link here for the uh, Game Pressure website where it has the update to 101. We're going to go scroll down a little bit. Now from here you're going to download two of them. You're going to download the Controls Fix version 1.4 and then either the uh, 101 European version or the 101 uh, US version depending on the game that you have if you do not have the game you can give it a demo run they do have the demo here and also the 2.1 demo patch right under it so you can go ahead and download those now this uh, third link here you may or may not need this but I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here just in case you do so go ahead and download that and put that in your downloads folder once all those files are uh, downloaded, you're going to go ahead into the downloads folder. Obviously, you're going to install the game first. So once you have that game installed and ready to go, the first order of business is to go ahead and click on the uh, uh, 101 patch. So you're going to go ahead and double click on that and install it. It was kind of glitchy for me. It took a couple of times before it uh, reinstalled it from me. So, uh, you know, tr just try the normal way, double click. Uh, if it doesn't, go ahead and try compatibility settings. Uh, run it under, you know, XP, a Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 3, or, you know, run as administrator, and uh, hopefully it should be installed. Like I said, it might take a couple of tries, but once it's go ahead and you do have that installed, uh, the next thing we're going to do on here, just to show you real quick, once you try and launch the config, you're not going to have the options to have widescreen further uh, than 1280 by 960. So we're going to go ahead and get that fixed. As you can see, even if you hit widescreen, it just goes to, to that one for you. And I'll just verify that real quick. Oh, no, it actually does have them. So it is good. So once you patch it, because I patched mine. So once you get it patched, you should have the widescreens available on there. So we're not going to need the... Uh, the widescreen patch so we can bypass that one now before you launch the game you want to set it back to windowed because this is the part where it has the issue with the controller the controller window will not pop up for one of two reasons so go ahead and leave it on windowed and we're going to try and just hit ok we're going to close that we're going to try and launch the game which is the executable, not the game. Okay, just a footnote here. If you started the game and it did not work for you, make sure you pick compatibility mode, uh, Windows XP Service Pack 2. And also you want to pick the compatibility run as administrator. Right, so now that we got the game running, it is purposely running on the window, so we can go ahead and configure it for the joystick. So we'll let that load up. Now we're going to go ahead and pick the option controls and as you can see it did come up so we'll be able to set the controls settings right here now remember in order for you to set the controls you have to have it set to uh, windowed mode once you have everything in here set up the way you want it to look then you can go back and go into the uh, you know the config window the juice config launch that and then set it to widescreen if you got an error when you did do that and the uh, window for the uh, controller did not pop up like I showed you then you're gonna want to go ahead and click on this file that you downloaded here and then you're basically gonna take that file this one right here and we're gonna take both of those and just put them inside the game 
now once you launch the game still windowed the first time uh, then you should get that window now I am going to show you one more error that you may get so we'll jump in here and if you do get that one the fix is also up here for the dead zone so we're gonna see I'm gonna show you the example here I keep clicking on game <laughs> so we'll launch it again in the window and as you can see it does work with reshade uh, let's go in here a lot of the old controllers what's going to happen the car is going to keep uh, like going to the right on its own like it's drifting even though you're not pressing right so i'm going to show you what that looks like here real quick So if you have that problem, you're gonna the car's gonna do that. It's gonna keep going to the right. So if you do that, we also have the fix for that. So if it is doing that, you're gonna double click on this file, and then you're gonna take the script file, and you're gonna do the same exact thing you did with the other ones. Just drag them and drop into the folder. And now once you launch the game, the game will not, should not be, you know, moving the car over to the right, and then you should be good to go. So once you run that, and it does fix that issue, now that we have everything set up and running, you should be good to go. So we can go back into here. Now we can pick window, or I'm sorry, uncheck window, pick the wide screen, and you can go ahead and set it at the resolution that you want. So now you should be able to launch the game and it's going to ask you to verify you just click OK then once this window comes up you're going to click OK again. Now when you launch the game you should be able to full screen and you should have the joystick support on there with no issue. If you do want to use the reshade on here just look at one of the videos I did there's a video in there on how to set that up. So as you can see, running full screen, everything looks good, and you should be good to go. So hopefully that helped you out. If this is a game you've been trying to run for a while and haven't been able to do so, those fixes should get you up and running, and you should be able to enjoy the game. So that's the end of this video. We will see you guys on the next one. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll see you soon.